Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to perform GCD of a uh, two given numbers, right? So here again, this program is without recursion. So with recursion, we'll see in the upcoming lectures, okay? So the GCD means greatest common divisor. So it is like you will take the LCM of two numbers. You no, know, what is the highest common divisor? That is nothing but your uh, GCD of the given two numbers, right? So we'll see how we are going to perform the GCD of two numbers using our C language. So I'm including hash include stdio.h, the common header file. And then we are starting with our int main. And then I am declaring two variables, n1 and n2. So I'm asking user to enter two integer values, n1 and n2. That is what we are storing into the variables n1 and n2. As I said, I'm going to use the functions concept here. I had, I'm calling here GCD of n1 and n2. So whatever the value you will give for n1 and n2 will be copied into this function. From here, your cursor will come directly to the function definition. So what is my uh, function definition is nothing but the logic where the function is being implemented, right? So here is the logic actually. So whatever the values you are passing from n1 and n2 will be copied into here, int n1 and int n2. Then you will enter into this uh, function. Here I declare two variables. One is i and the other one is uh, for gcd. That is the final result I wanted to store no, for that. So next what I wanted to do is I wanted to do this repetition. That is, if I give some value like 24 and 30, right? So those two numbers common, greatest common divisor, I wanted to find out, right? So I need to find out uh, n number of cycles for that. That is, each and every time I need to divide it and you need to check whether it is common or not, right? So for that reason, we are using the for loop here. And for i is equals to 1, i less than or equals to n1. So if I take my n1 and n2 values as uh, n1 is equals to 24 if I take and n2 is equals to 30, right? If I take, I should get my GCD. So if we'll calculate, uh, generally we'll get GCD of 24 and 30 is 6, right? So how that is being performed, we'll just check out first. So i is less than or equals to 1, that, uh, sorry, n1. So as I said, n1 is 24 and n2 is 30. i value is 1. 1 is less than or equals to n1. Condition is true. And it should also be less than or equals to n2. So if these two conditions are true, only then you will enter into the for loop. Yes, of course, my condition, these two conditions are true, then I'm entering into this for loop. In that, what I'm trying to check is, I am finding out the GCD, right? So N1 modulus of I and also N2 modulus of I is equals to zero. Then I'm making my GCD as I, that is. So what is the first my I value? It is one. So what is my N value? 24. So 24 modulus of one, obviously I'll get it as zero. And what, should, what is the second condition? 30 modulus of 1. Yes, of course, again, I'll get 0. So what my GCD value will become for the first time, it will be 1, right? Next, again, you will come and increment the I value. So now what my next value will be? 2. 2 less than or equals to N1, 24. Yes, condition is true. 2 less than or equals to N2, 30. Yes, condition is true. So again, you will enter into the for loop here and you'll check this if condition. Now, what is my N1, 24? What is my I value? It is 2. So 24 modulus of 2, you'll get 0. And also 30 modulus of 2, you'll get 0. So now both the conditions are true. So what my GCD will become? It will become the value 2. Again, you will come and increment the I value. So next I value will become 3. Right? So 3 less than or equals to 24. Condition is true. 3 less than or equals to 30. Condition is true. So again, you will um, come and uh, enter into the for loop. Again, you will check out the value that is n1 modulus of 3. 24 modulus of 3 is equals to 0 because uh, 24 aids up. 3 aids up. Sorry, sorry. It is with third. Uh, uh, 3, right? Huh. Uh, 24 modulus of 3, that is 8, that is divisible by 0, uh, that is, you will get the remainder as 0, okay. And 30 modulus of 3, you will get the remainder as 0. So now what my GCD will become? GCD will become 
3 because both the conditions are satisfied. Next i value will become 4, right? So 4 less than 24 condition is true. 4 less than 30 condition is true. And next coming back to your 24 modulus of 4, you'll get it as 0. But whereas 30 modulus of 4, you don't get it as 0. So you're not going to update any GCD value. Simply you'll come out of that for loop. Now again, my I value will become five. So five less than 24 condition true, five less than 30 condition true. You will come and check 24 modulus of five, that is five is equals to zero. No, because 24 won't go. So you'll get some reminder. So the condition is failed. First itself, it is failed. So you will come out of that. And again, you will increment the I value. In this format, you will check till the uh, I value is equals to N1 and I value is equals to N2. That is approximately uh, I value to 24 and 30. These many times you will repeat the value and what, whenever these two conditions will become equal, your GCD value will be changed to the particular I value. Right. So after getting the final uh, final completion of that, both conditions to be true, you will come out of that and you'll print the GCD value. Right. So this is what you are doing uh, in order to find out GCD of two numbers without recursive. Right. So without recursion, we are trying to do this one. Uh, so let us compile this code and we'll check whether we are getting that proper answer or not. So simply enter two integers. As I said, I'm giving 24 and 30. So then what is the common factor? That is J, greatest common, sorry. Greatest common divisor is six, right? So this is what you are trying to do using GCD. I mean, trying to find out GCD of two numbers, right? Um, I think this is clear for everyone. Thank you all.